Hello guys, welcome to binaryicos.com. My name is Rahul Sound. In this video, I'm going to look about the Matrix OS. Uh, it's actually an open source security distribution for the ethical hackers. So, open source operating system based on the Debian. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download this OS from the website, how to install this OS, uh, live OS on the virtual box, and I'm going to compare this OS with the Backtrack and Kali Linux and I'm going to show you some quick review about the Matrix OS. So let's start. So first you need to download the Matrix OS. So for that go to the website matrix.com. This is the index page of matrix.com. Now go to the download option. And in download option here is authentication information username and password for your OS and these are the download details you can see the Matrix Beyond Ross OS are now currently released this is a new OS and this is called the older version of the Matrix so Lithium, Xenon, Krypton so download the operating system that you want I just download this one the Matrix Leandros uh, sorry Leandros OS and let me show you the quick review about this OS. So I just make a setting of the Matrix OS in my virtual box. So I just set the memory that is 1024 1 MB and the storage capacity 8 GB. This one is VDI file. This is the 8 GB and the network adapter is a NAT. So configure that setting and start your Matrix OS. Okay, it's a no bootable media form to the device. And I'm going to choose this Matrix Leandros. And now reset. is loading choose the first option live now it's loading and takes a minute to load and it will come up with the user logon information In logon information, you can use this username and password. Password is uh, default, is two, and it's one password. Username is root, matrix, and tiger. So use any username, and this is a password. It's same for all username. I'm going to use a default username that is a matrix, and the password is two. T double R. Now is starting the GNOME desktop manager. And this is our login page. So I'm going to use the default one, the materials. Before starting, uh, I frankly say that I do not like this OS, uh, the Backtrack and Kali Linux which is a best OS for penetration testing and ethical hacker. But as a security professional and ethical hacker you must need uh, the information about the latest OS and tool. So let's take a quick review about the Matrix. Just use a Matrix username and password is a tool. So type tool and login. Okay, now the OS is loaded, and this OS is much more similar like the Backtrack. Uh, let's talk about the desktop. It's a computer. If you open 
the computer it will show your hard disk the file system okay and this is the matrix home matrix please installer same as the backtrack installer you run that installer it will start installing the matrix os this is trash and this is our desktop uh, here one two terminal in our taskbar that is first one is our normal terminal that is this terminal this is a normal terminal that are uh, we use very well on backtrack and kali linux and this one is the root terminal if i open this terminal can see that is as a super user so if i type some command like ls if config it will show me that information of the particular command but in this if i type ls okay in i if i type if config it show me that the command not found so for that type su super user it will ask for the password password is t o o r and then type if config and you can see the information about that particular command so this is very irritating actually i does not like this type of super user and password authentication for a particular command okay so the next one is a system this system menu is similar like a backtrack in the preferences you can see the keyboard mouse monitor uh the starter application preferred application same as the backtrack and kali linux administration administration you can see the gparted uh, this tool is used for uh, creating and deleting the partition of your hard disk the software resources oh the synaptic packet manager this are very useful tool synaptic packet manager is very useful tool used also in ubuntu system and this is this, this is the gnom you can say the gnom most of the people are say the gnom or gnom whatever so this is the version 2.0 30.2 of the gnome uh, the distribution is a debian and then go to the place this is the place same as the backtrack machine and kali linux is a home folder desktop your hard disk network okay in the application menu in the system tool there are in map Matrix disk installer, file browser, Ether app, in other some familiar command like John the Reaper, MSF CLI, MSF Pro, and a driver dash ng. So it's make a shortcut on the other menu. In internet, there are very large amount of uh, menus are available. in backtrack and kali linux internet uh, there there are not this type of menu are available uh, for example the I, angry ip scanner this uh, tool is useful for scanning your uh, live host of your lan and the mac address of that particular host also useful tool that is ether app both are the normal version and as a root and this one is our tor browser tor tor browser uh, this tor browser is not installed in backtrack and kali linux you need to install it manually but in this os it is installed by default wicd network adapter same as backtrack in kali linux if you want to configure the ip address setting you need to go your uh, that lan icon on the top of the kali linux machine and then right click and edit the configuration and this wic network manager is available in backtrack you need to this is similar like a backtrack the so wireshark and zen map very common use 
in accessories there are simple tools archive manager root terminal terminal terminator in arsenal there is our main thing or main tools of this materials so this all tools are very similar in the backtrack start with the reconnaissance scanning it's remind me my ethical hacking certification if you do the ethical hacking certification uh, there are five main uh, phase of the ethical hackers or you can say the penetration tester these are the five main phase that is reconnaissance scanning gaining access maintaining access and the covering tracks these are five phase and this tool remind me my ceh certification so in the reconnaissance uh, the dns dns tracer most of all use dig uh, dimitri tool are very useful and tcp dom wireshark the tor browser so these all tools are also available in kai linux and backtrack so there are a different name in backtrack uh, for the main menu this all tool are available in reconnaissance in backtrack there are a uh, different type of uh, main menus options like information gathering uh, exploitation different type of options are available in scanning this is the netcat most used in map ethercap console and gui both are available angry ip scanner that i already say cisco routing protocol igrp web scanner there are lots of web scanner are available nikto web scanner uh, very often use in cisco packet generator global exploiter this tool are very uh, unique the exploiter or oh, it's need the password okay it show me that the vulnerabilities list of cisco's it's very useful tool so where am i okay scanning so another is gaining access gaining access has come with the password and this is the most useful tool that is opcrack and medusa this is the opcrack gui version if i open this opcrack you see it is a gui version and it's directly run as a super user there are the tables you can download the table from the opcrack website and for decoding or for cracking the lm hash and the second one is most useful tool is gcrack medusa and tsc hydra in sql sqid sql map sql ninja they are very useful tool bind sqli scanner very useful tool so this all uh, this all the tools are coming in the gaining access in framework there are metasploit that is our main tool that is msf console so it's available in framework metasploit the set tool is available it is a social engineering toolkit the fast penetration testing toolkit you need to type numbers there are options and type number 1 2 so very useful tool the social engineering toolkit available in framework in wireless there are bunch of many tools are available like airbase dash ng airmon dash ng aerodom dash ng this all tool also available in backtrack and kali linux in wireless the forensic meta extractor very interesting tools uh, some tools are new in this os and some are uh, also available in backtrack and kali linux in pci dss you can see the code janitor it's very useful tool 
in debuggers the most used debugger is gdb debugger and hex edit in tracer you see the x tracer is very useful tool and e tracer also useful tool in the tracer and this all okay this option is very unique this option is not available in backtrack that is a services uh, in kali linux it available the services option but it only show the postgresql services and i think uh, the ms sql services or metasploit services yes, uh, but in this os it create a brand new menu that is services and it come with the apache metasploit ms sql and postgresql so you can start and stop services just clicking on the mouse okay in backtrack this option are not available you need to go to terminal and type the command if you want to stop the postgresql or metasploit you need to type the command stop services metasploit then it, uh, we stop the services so it will create a shortcut menu in this os so this is the quick review of the mat matrix os that is a uh, leondros matrix os but i think i like a backtrack and kali linux more than this os but as a hacker and as a security professional you need to know about every new tool or every new os that come in the market so this is all for this video if you like my videos please subscribe my youtube channel and also like my facebook page thanks for watching